Sidney Poitier, the future Jackie Robinson of films, was born the 24th of February, 1927, in Miami during a visit his parents made to Florida. Legally? <laughs> to sell tomatoes they had grown on their farm in the Bahamas. He grew up on Cat Island, so poor they didn't even own dirt, he has said. Neglected by his family, my father would sit on the shore, and as he's told me many times, conjure up the kind of worlds that were on the other side and what I do in them. He arrived in New York City from the Bahamas in the winter of 1943 at the age of 15 and a half and lived in the pay toilet of the bus station across from the old Madison Square Garden at 50th and 8th Avenue. He moved to the roof of the Brill Building, commonly known as Tin Pan Alley, washed dishes at the Turf Restaurant for $4.11 a night. He taught himself to read by reading the newspaper. <laughs> in the black newspaper, the theater page was opposite the want ad page. Among his 42 films are No Way Out, 1950, Cry the Beloved Country, 1952, Black Boy Jungle, 1955, The Defiant Ones, 1958, Raisin in the Sun, 1961, Lilies of the Field, 1963, In the Heat of the Night, 1967, Two Sir with Love, 1967, Shoot to Kill, 1988, and of course, Guess, guess who's, who's coming, coming to dinner? dinner. <laughs> He won the Oscar for Lilies of the Field and was twice named top male box office star in the country. My father made no films from 1977 to 1987, but worked as director and author. Dad said to me once, I still don't fully understand how all this came about and the sequence it came about. <laughs>